Hey guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 6 and 7 of season 3 of Bendity. Okay, I mean, the last time we, or really, I did a reaction on this was like, literally almost two months ago in January before I moved, and I, I the, the situation I had with the show, and I kept wondering, like, um was delayed for one of two reasons. The first reason was, and I kind of thought about this a couple weeks ago, was because of the fact is of the coronavirus. And then my first reason, which I kind of thought about the time, I want to say maybe a week after episodes four and five came out, was because of the fact is in Japan, they were getting ready to air the show. And so I was like, well, maybe they're going to wait until we officially catch up with them or they officially catch up with us because we were three weeks in aka five episodes in and they had just started the show so i'm guessing because of the fact is which whatever maybe both of the reasons why um because the show just started coming back today and episodes six and seven were out and i was like oh my god i was like thank god because of the fact is we're getting so closer to the anniversary in like two weeks and i'm like hmm, where is it but i'm happy as fuck but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode six and three two one go But wait, you can up. Right. This baby is my favorite man. See, now I feel like with what they just showed in the first few minutes of this episode. Um, cause see, I'm not doing it a whole year and that's okay. I'm fine with that. But because of the fact is like the Roselli event that they had not too long ago where they did do future world fest and that was their biggest goal and they finally did it. I feel like possibly some of the things that happened in that event, they're probably going to be talked about maybe in this episode. I'm not 100% sure because it, there's points where sometimes the game and the anime are canon to each other. I mean, the biggest thing is that we're all kind of wondering if the new band who just got released or shown um, last week eventually comes into the anime towards the end of the show. And I know we're like, I think we have either six or seven episodes left before we're done with the show. And then if the show's going to get a season four just don't know. There's so many unanswered questions that you just want to know. I cannot wait to see these two in cards together. It's going to be so good. Because Locke is in it with a card with Rihareen. And I'm like, no way! I'm like, give me my baby. I'll go with her. <laughs> my precious baby. <laughs> Is everything okay? Oh. 
<laughs> nice to <you> too. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, a few days ago. A month ago. <laughs> like almost two months. Wait to see Patty with her like three star, four star. She's gonna look so pretty. Oh god. Mm. Of course. Maybe we all go so positive. <laughs> hey, with the things that you gotta do. You guys shouldn't argue. Of course, I'm mean, here too, Fiona. Maybe, Ron, you should talk to her? <laughs> Hi, you know. <laughs>
卖哦。嗯。Did you take it to? Okay, no. Ah,、oh, that looks so good. Because honestly, we haven't had a scene where you two have talked together. Say、hmm? it'll be fine. Come on. I literally forgot. She's like one of the biggest fans. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. Aww. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We just want to talk. That's it. Is, but she doesn't really care. Yeah, I don't think so too. Take the fries to go, Hina. Honestly, it feels like everybody has different feelings about this, good and bad.
Just don't ask. <laughs> No, Kasumi, you can't put it in the middle. Oh, hey, Mocha. <laughs> mm. <laughs> of course, specifically for Yukina. Oh, good song, guys. Well, that makes sense that they will want to, you know, see on. It's okay, it's gonna be fine. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, it's so cute, though. <laughs> At least they tried. I mean, to eat, uh, the things that I could say about you, too. Still love her, I <laughs>
So, Vlog, how do you feel? Oh! Oh! Jesus, are you okay? Yeah, but you feel like you just don't like it. Because of the fact that you know how awesome Rosalia was. I mean, but R.E.S. was good too. Let's just say that right now. But I really don't know the... You know what I'm going to say? And this is what I um, truly love about you, Kina. I mean, deep down, even though she's not showing that she cares, she does care. But the things with, like, going back to season two and then going back to this season and how the relationship of her and you two and thinking how the relationship between Kasumi and the girl from the new band, the leader from that band, how that's going to go. I mean, mm, two two just, it, it's, She's that type of girl who is just like, I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'm going to prove to you no matter what, I am the superior band and Rosalia isn't. But it's like, I mean, like I said, Yukina don't give a crap sometimes. I mean, even though she's like not really showing her emotions towards it, deep down inside, she still really cares. But I mean, yeah, in a way, yes, the fans spoken. I, I kind of really saw it from a land side that RAS was going to go ahead and win and Rosalia was going to win. Rosalia's performance is still a good performance, even though we didn't get to see all of it. I feel like this episode really was just to have RAS just really shine. The fact that they have everybody in their group officially, and this is their very, not first official, I think. It's not their first official performance, but it's Locke's first official performance. So it's going to be a lot more heartwarming towards her rather than Tutu. I mean, Tutu, I mean, this is a child we're talking about. She's adorable as hell. But I, I just felt like, in a way, I don't know, something about it. She, to me, I felt like there are times she understands feelings, and then there are times that she truly doesn't. I mean, Lair, let's talk about Ray for a moment. I Like, Ray was sitting there watching that performance, and I feel like she she felt something when she saw Rosalia perform. And I think she's just thinking to herself, maybe I need to be better than that. And with the fact that you two said to her that that was your best performance yet, but she still feels a little certain type of way with after the fact that she's thinking about not only her performance, but comparing her performance to Rosalia, and the thing is, and I, I think I've said this so many times with other freaking series, and I've said it to friends and families and stuff, don't ever really compare yourself to another person, another, uh, no matter what, person, band, whatever, because you're not going to get over that. You're going to be your biggest, harshest critic, and that's maybe how Yukina feels right now. I mean, even seeing my baby... Precious baby Akko getting upset. Like, oh my god, I almost wanted to fucking cry just seeing her. Because Akko and everyone else in this group, my band that I love so fucking much, Rosalia, they're just so precious in their own fucking ways. And to just now officially see the previews for episode 7 and seeing that they're down, um, it's truly going to be sad. I think this is an episode or really a moment that we 
needed for Rosalia, especially for um, when essentially the second story came out in the game, especially for when it came out, because I didn't play it as much as in JP. I'm still playing JP as much um, as much as Ian. But to finally get to see everything um, translated and seeing the story in English, it's just like, oh my god, Like I can now see just a moment of them getting sad and stuff, because you never really have seen these girls, you know, get upset, get angry, especially seeing her and Sile, like, argue in this episode. I mean, that was something that I wasn't expecting because you would think that these girls are so close-knit that they never really truly argue because, like, I mean, it's just, it's kind of the same thing how I feel with Afterglow because Afterglow, I've never really truly seen them in any of the stories that I've either played on my own or I've watched argue. And they're just childhood friends that have been so close that they're literally like sisters. But when it's a group of girls who are maybe high school friends or elementary friends or whatever, middle school, and they're now coming in, you're going to have points where you're going to bicker with someone else. I mean, Kasumi and, and, <laughs> and Adisa, my other best girl, they do that a lot. But it's just in a fun, cute manner. But when you're looking at Rosalia, you're just like, okay, you're a little struck with that because you've never truly really seen it before. But even if you play the game or not, you're just like a little surprised about it. But yeah, um, honestly, I really don't have anything else to say about this episode. But Go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 7. Okay, episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. Hina? Did you record it too? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but Ray, you still feel some type of way, don't you? Oh. Oh, I'm hungry. Right, you want to talk about it? I mean, you, you could see on her face. She desperately wants to talk about it, but I don't know. Either, what I kind of hope that this episode is going to bring, either Ray will go talk to Yukina, either Sayo, somebody is going to bring Rosalia back together. It's going to be either all five of them separate are going to come together, or Sayo, in my opinion, which I think she's going to do it, um, necessarily might bring everybody together. You cannot may do something. I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, we just got to see. But it's hard on all five of them. And it's just going to be a very emotional episode for them specifically because this is the first time where they've lost. And it, it just reminds me of season one all over again where you know popping party was trying to get that audition and no matter how many times like they kept failing until finally she said yes and then you're just like looking and you're just like oh my god like jesus like i can't because it's just a hard moment for not only popping party in general but kasumi because kasumi really wanted this and i mean I was sitting there crying my ass off and I wasn't ready for it. And when they finally got the yes in that last episode of that performance, I was just happy.
So then it makes me wonder if, like, the song that they did for Future World Fest is going to be in this anime, in the show. I mean, hopefully it is. Because it's such a good dance song. <laughs> Only King can like literally take away Aw <laughs> girls persona. <laughs> So fucking precious. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lisa!
<laughs> you look so different without your headphones. <laughs> Just like you, Gina. <laughs> mm. Oh, you do too. See, the biggest thing is I'm wondering is when they finally add RAS at the end of this season, what songs are these girls going to freaking cover? Because, oh, God. I just can't wait. It's going to be so good. Only mocha. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> mocha, you took pictures. <laughs> They so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> True. Mm, 20 seconds. Well, that's good. Oh, my God, Sayo. You haven't been getting any sleep, have you? You've been stressing yourself out. <laughs> oh,
told you. But she's been working herself out and she's been stressed too. But she wants to feed you. Oh, honey. Uncle. Yeah, you just talk. Don't make anyone happy. Make your confidence go. Up. Yes. Oh, oh my god.
Oh, that's so messed up, but it's still good. I'm glad. I'm so happy. This is a really good two-parter episode. Like, oh my god, I can't imagine if they just showed episode six for us and just was like, mm, you gotta wait till next Tuesday for episode seven. But oh my god, I'm so happy the girls are able to come back together. Oh, my favorite band. I love them so much. They're just so good, and they're gonna be way. Even more better. I'm just so happy for her. I, I love the fact that they all came to Sayo to, to check on her. And Yukina and Sayo had a talk. It was nice. I'm glad. It just, I mean, even though they technically really didn't apologize in their own way, it, in their own way, they did. It was sweet. It is my heart. More in my goddamn heart. Like, I can't. Even the fact that, you know, Hina, Akko, Lisa, wrinkle all of them making food for Sayo like that was really sweet I, I kind of got feels to like when um it was several months later after season one with the OVA and the OVA kind of similarly focused on both Rosalia and popping party and stuff but it was just sweet and it's just my band my favorite band my babies I just love them so damn much and I'm glad that Yukina was able to see the poster and the messages that they all gave her. It's just so it's just adorable. <laughs> I don't know, this might actually be the first time where really we're gonna have every girl from every single band hang out possibly. I don't know. I mean it it could just be everybody except RAS, but it seems like from the preview, it seemed like Locke was there, maybe, so who knows. But, like I said in, in episode 6, the biggest thing is leading up to the finale of this show, if I can't pronounce their, it's more Morphonica, I think that's how you pronounce her name, of that band group, if they're going to show up. Because the biggest thing is that I'm hoping is if, if, oh my god, because if it happens, I'm going to just die. Um, if they show up, Every other band in this show from season two to season three has all made their own performance in an episode. They're the only group that needs to make an appearance and a performance in this show. So let's just say, because I feel like they have this, because 
why would you show these girls last week and then you give us the music video and uh, they give us the music video between Saturday and Sunday night and you're building off the fan base and everything. So it would behoove you to go ahead and make them have an appearance in this final episode whenever we get there. Um, I'm guessing we're going to get there sometime sometime after the anniversary because it really just depends on um, the pacing of when the episodes come out because I feel like what they did today for us, they did the things that they're doing in the past. So I'm guessing in Japan today, they got episode six and then next week they'll get episode seven. So we'll be, um, they'll either delay episodes eight and nine, or they might air episode eight and nine on that website that, um, I think it's something drive, uh, the app website that usually shows anime is not country roll, but the other one, I can't think of it, but who knows? I mean, cause we're getting really, really, really close to the end of this show. And I feel like it's probably going to end either a couple of weeks before April or a couple of weeks after April, because the fact is it took its little break or whatever, since we really don't know entirely what it was. Because, like I said, it could be either or with this show. But honestly, yeah, I think next week's episode or whenever it comes um, will be honestly really good. Because I've been wanting an episode where every single girl from every single band is together. The last time they were together was sometime really in season two. And then a little bit at the end of season one, even though none of the other girls in the bands had a speaking role. And then any time when you're playing an event with certain girls, because it just depends. But yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six and seven of season three of Bang Dream. Bang Dream. Bang Dream. Mm -hmm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys hopefully maybe next Tuesday for episodes 8 and 9. If not next Tuesday, maybe the following Tuesday. Heck, they could possibly have episodes 8 and 9 come out this Thursday because I've seen them do that in the past before. But honestly, we won't really know until it comes. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.